What is up? This morning I finished sitting the exam for the Terraform Associate, uh, the HashiCorp exam, and I passed the exam, which is fantastic. So today we're going to talk about how I did this, what's involved, and you know what lessons I, I guess I learned uh, while I was doing it. The HashiCorp Terraform Associate exam is the only exam currently offered by HashiCorp that tests you on Terraform. So there's no, uh, a lot of cloud providers will have kind of their entry level exam and then some more professional level exams. But the Terraform Associate is the only exam that's offered. It's, it's, it is quite uh, straightforward. It's not uh, too, too onerous, um, which is what I found. So pretty easy to study for. I decided to study for this exam on, uh, on the 12th of August. And I finished the exam today, which is the 20th of August. So it took me about a week to go from deciding to study and then to actually sitting the exam. I think there there was enough time to do everything. It, I, I, I wasn't really coming into this with much preparation in terms of Terraform. I think I'd done a little bit at work and then done a little bit of, of playing around in my own time. But... By no stretch was I some Terraform genius that had <laughs> that had gone to try and study for this exam. A lot of the stuff that I'd seen was new, uh, and I had I had enough background to kind of know what Terraform was, but certainly no expert. I think the the exam was was pretty straightforward, but I think it gave me a good background, understanding a lot of the inner workings of Terraform and how things actually work. So really cool, really cool. Uh, I'm really glad that I did the exam. So the exam. The a passing score isn't public, so it's like a case with a lot of these exams is they don't publish the actual requirement, but generally it's seen that like 70% is kind of the, the mark, and I guess it perhaps depends, like sometimes they'll put experimental questions in the exams or um, things like that, so it's not necessarily like you got this percent, uh, you know, they kind of grade it slightly differently for each exam, but that's kind of the mark you're aiming for, and so I passed, I got 73%. Uh, you know, so I just passed, uh, which is really cool. But there were some thoughts I had around the exam, which we'll get to later, that I think perhaps um, I was a bit unfair <laughs> or, you know, perhaps I'd been misled uh, in some ways. So you need you need about 70% for the exam. Like I mentioned, I wasn't really a super expert in Terraform before, before learning this. I think one week I spent a fair bit of time like studying, but I'd say probably it was only maybe between 5, 10 hours like studying for the exam, so really not that long. I think the, the content was really easy to, to digest, and I think the documentation that I read was really effective and really uh, kind of gave a really good explanation of the things that you need to learn. Let's talk about what things actually used to study for the exam. So the first of these is the associate tutorial list, and so this is something that Terraform provides everyone. It's kind of their... Uh, Taking ages to load for some reason. This is the associate tutorial list. So this is something that Terraform provides. It kind of has a bunch of tutorials on different things in Terraform and different things that uh, you know that that are useful for the exam. Uh, I guess one of the benefits of this is that like Terraform is providing it to you. So clearly there is some benefit to going through it. Uh, I didn't really go through that much. You can see I kind of only went through eight out of the twenty-five tutorials. I think I did the ones that I thought I needed to do so or that, that I wasn't sure on. So for example, like lock and upgrade provider versions, like um, I guess at the time I, I actually did that. <laughs> so I guess I needed to know that. But I guess some of this stuff, like I didn't really need to know too much about, like I kind of knew how to, creating resource dependencies, I sort of, it's that seemed to me like it was pretty straightforward. So I didn't think that I needed to do that. Whereas like overview of modules, uh, that was interesting to me and I felt like I needed to know more about how those work. So, uh, you know, Sentinel might have been a good one to do as well. So anyway, uh, there's some good ones there. And I feel like if you go through, obviously they're recommending you do this for the exam. So clearly it must be somewhat beneficial. Although I didn't really use it that much. I think I only gave it a 7 out of 10 only because like I, I didn't really use it. <laughs> so I'm sure it's good, but I really only used it for things that I wanted to learn more about. Same with the documentation. The documentation is really, really good, but... I kind of only turned to it when something wasn't clear to me. Uh, otherwise, I just continued on. Um, another thing that I that I had and that I bought was called this uh, Terraform Zero to Certified course. Uh, and, and this course is pretty freaking good. Like this dude, he's like some Russian guy. Uh, <laughs> he, he like, he was a complete beast. Um, there's lots of stuff in here covering everything from 
you know, modules, uh, you know, different Terraform constructs, uh, pretty much everything you'd need to know for sort of a, to get to an intermediate level of Terraform. This has more than you would need, I think, for the exam, but it's helpful. He explains things super easy and all the code is, is available to go and look at. So this was really good. Now, I, I did watch a fair bit of this and a lot of the concepts, like after watching a five minute video of this guy explain it, I, the concept was kind of, I felt like I understood completely what was going on. So, um, yeah, this was a really good course. The other one that I used, and this is the main area or the main way that I did a lot of my, the main place I did a lot of my study was this uh, HashiCorp certified practice exam. Now, inside of this, we've got five practice exams, and then there's a kind of some fill in the blank questions. Uh, this was like, this is where I've spent the most of my time. Uh, you know, go straight to the source uh, and, and kind of start learning. So pretty much as soon as I decided that I was going to sit the exam, I bought this straight away and, and did one exam just to kind of get a sense of where I was at and what areas I needed to improve in. And so actually, I think uh, in here I have uh, my score results here. So I got 45% the first time I did it, which is actually all right. But a lot of the questions are like true or false or, uh, you know, kind of, uh, kind of easy. So I guess I... I did okay there, but yeah, I really used the exams. They were my main, main <laughs> way that I that I studied. Uh, I felt like I was getting immediate feedback and kind of, I used this as kind of a, a metric, I guess, of how I was going to learn the content was like increase my score on this. And if I increase my score in the practice exams, I'm probably going to do all right in the actual exam, which is what ended up happening. So it turns out actually as well that this, uh, this course is created by Brian Krausen, who it turns out is actually the, uh, he actually writes or he helps write the actual exam. Uh, so he's super close to what it actually is. And these questions are quite good and well aimed at uh, getting you ready for the exam. And I certainly, I certainly found that. Um, so very cool. Um, here are my practice exam results. So you can have a look and see how I did. Uh, very quickly, I got, I got quite a bit better. This is like, I think on a Friday I did this and then the next day I got like nearly 30% better after I kind of looked at things that I realized I needed to look at. Uh, I kind of didn't really do any preparation before this. Did a little bit kind of and then I was here and then slowly worked my way to get a little bit better. Uh, I did each practice exam twice. So I did 10 uh, and it was kind of at least one per day until I sat the exam. Um, and I, I was getting better every time, which was really good. And then I did this one on this morning. So the morning of the actual exam. Um, which was my weakest exam out of the five, and I just did it again, uh, and you know I got quite a good grade there as well. Um, I think, uh, like w when you do practice exams, I've seen other people do this where they'll have get marked out of seventy percent, and then you, you if on the practice exams you kind of want to get twenty percent better than whatever the passing grade is, just so that there's enough buffer there, so that if even if you did overfit on the practice exams and like even if you studied overstudied the practice exams and perhaps they're not as not a good match for the actual exam there's still a good chance that you're okay because you, you were doing really well on the practice ones so uh, that was kind of my approach as well and yeah once i was kind of getting to the mid 80s towards 90 percent then i was thinking okay i think i'm gonna be okay here um cool we can move on to the actual review of the exam so my exam was kind of strange in some ways um it was pretty short i think i had it finished in about half an hour but i think you get an hour i finished it in about half an hour but i had some questions in there using terraform taint which if you're familiar with terraform it's this command that has been depreciated and doesn't really get used in fact it's not even in the curriculum and, and so kind of the suggested things to learn for the exam so i was a bit confused why that appeared in the exam um and not as like a, this has been depreciated question. Like this was a sort of an actual question about this. Uh, and like I had had this down as some of my answers, which I thought was kind of strange. Perhaps I got those questions wrong. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but yeah, that was kind of weird. And then the exams that I was doing the, and the guy that wrote the exams was saying, and so we, we saw that there was the, the CLI, uh, like kind of interactive questions there. There was five practice exams and then a interactive section. And so the interactive section um, you know, he's like, yeah, the exams will have this. And so mine, I didn't have that either, which kind of confused me because I was expecting there to be some questions where I'd have to type stuff, but that didn't happen. So I'm not really sure what happened there. Maybe I was looking at some old version of the exam or maybe there is a new version of the Terraform exam coming out 
in the next couple of months, I think. So perhaps a lot of the content that I saw was more aimed at that and not the exam that I actually took, but that's okay. It ended up working all right. So yeah, like I said, I think I said at the start, my final score was 73%. So I just snuck in, but you know, that's that's like, I think given the short time frame of studying, the exam was a little bit strange. And then the way that I studied just doing practice exams, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, I was definitely going for uh, speed rather than actually getting a good result. Just getting the pass was kind of my aim, and so I got the pass, and that's all that matters. So some things to finish, you know, lessons for next time, I guess. One of the things I would do next time is is perhaps... I think I overfit my learning slightly on the practice exams. And so that translated fairly well to the final exam, but I did obviously get a worse grade on the final exam compared to what I was getting on the practice ones. And so I think if I had to do it next time, I would place less importance on the practice ones and more of an importance on kind of learning things more generally about Terraform. Uh, and again, going through some of the docs and perhaps even some of the tutorials that they provide, because I think that would have been probably rounded out some of the, the edge cases that I missed as a result of using the exam as my really main study uh, piece of study material. Uh, but there you go. Hope, hope you enjoyed that. I think it's, it's an interesting exam and I had a, a good time learning and studying for it. Obviously, one week to get the pass is, is fairly good. So... Yeah, pretty stoked. It went went smoothly. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment if you want to comment on anything that I've said, and I'll, I'll get back to you. But yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video.